you know, how smoking was perceived, say, 40 or 50 years ago, where you actually had these ads you know, claiming that cigarettes were good for your health, and like pregnant women and ads and things like that. And then there the were scientists, all these scientists were saying, well, we think there may be a link between lung cancer and smoking. And then there would be all these counter studies funded by the tobacco companies that curiously found that there was no link. And then over time, that ed evidence mounted more and more, and eventually it's, it became overwhelmingly obvious that smoking is bad for your health. Um, and yet, what we're doing here with carbon emissions uh, from, from oil, coal, and gas is we're smoking the planet. You know, so it doesn't seem we've learned our lesson there. It's, since, since the federal government needs to raise taxes, it makes sense to um, weight those taxes on what likely is bad for us versus stuff that's good. Like, it would be silly to, you know, in, in food to have really high taxes on bread and none on, on, on cigarettes. That would be, like, people are like, oh, that would, that would be dumb. Well, that's how it is with, with, uh, with fuel. <laughs> in fact, we have negative taxes on those, I should point out. The level of subsidies and tax breaks that exist for oil, gas, and coal are, are enormous. In fact, just mind-bogglingly huge. So it's, it's not just that there's not tax on it, there's a negative tax. They, there's a subsidy, effectively. And, and that makes it harder for the sustainable stuff to compete. Anyway, I, I really think there ought to be a tax uh, according to that which is going to harm us. Solar really helps short circuit this idea that electric cars are just gasoline cars with a long tailpipe. You know, that sure it's used electricity, but isn't that electricity produced by coal and haven't we therefore not solved the problem but moved it somewhere else? It's like, no, we have to solve sustainable power generation as well. Solar is the best way to do that, in my opinion. So if we have sustainable power generation and sustainable power consumption, then we really have solved the problem.